Sharks coach Craig Fitzgibbon has challenged Nico Hines to immediately forget his disappointing origin debut and star again for his club. Hines is one of a host of Blues players likely to back up this weekend. Origin losses hurt more than most, but there's no time to dwell on them. To be a real Origin player, it's the, the mark of an Origin player to go back to your club and deliver as well. Nico Hines had a forgettable 12-minute New South Wales debut in Adelaide, but has come back to Cronulla hungrier than ever, ready to back up against the Broncos tomorrow. He's fearless. He's just walked in the door today. What's my next challenge? What's in front of me? You know, I'm look, he's looking forward to getting straight back out there and that guy loves the challenge. Fellow new blue Tavita Pangai Jr. is likely to line up for the Bulldogs against the Roosters. His club coach says exposure to origin should make the prop even more destructive. I think you go into there and you play the highest level against the best players and, um, you know, for Tavita going in for his first time there and, and realising that, you know, he, he was up to that speed of play and, and up to that level, he's going to come to it back to us a better player. Jai Arrow and Cameron Murray return for the Rabbitohs against the Titans. Souths are one of the few teams yet to have a bye, but plan on resting their rep stars later in the season. A real probably difficult period is this period now, and after that we're, we start to get some um, rest in between there. So uh, the, the boys knew going into it, this was a game we, we wanted them to back up and um, front load our energy and hopefully get the re rewards for that later on in the Origin Series. Penrith don't play the Dragons until Sunday night, so we'll make a call on their six Blues brothers later. They've come back defeated, but certainly not deflated. I'm sure deep down, like, they're still hurting a lot, but for them to come in and, and still be who they are, and we, we really we really love that from them. And um, it's something that I don't think every club would have, and we, we consider ourselves pretty lucky to have guys like that who can lift the morale so easily. Luke Doversy, Nine News. Friday night footy is in Campbelltown with the Tigers hosting the Raiders. Denica Mason is there. And Denica, the Tigers' confidence is growing. Yes, they did have an impressive victory the last game they played. Paul Gallen alongside me here on the sideline. But, Gal, since that incredible record-breaking win over the Cowboys, they have had the bye. Are they in danger of halting their momentum? I don't think so. I mean, I think that they probably need a bye. It's probably good for all teams at the moment. Freshen up a little bit. And they've got, uh, look, they've had a pretty good four to six weeks. They haven't, they've also only won three games through their past four games, but they've really competed in some of the other games. They've got some fantastic outside backs just getting their career started. Buller, Stafford, Tawa, and Tupo on the wing is an absolute powerhouse. So, look, I think having them young guys in the team, um, they're ready to produce week in, week out. I think in a couple of years' time, they're going to be a good side, this Tigers team. It's got to be able to keep this talent together. What about the Raiders? A win tonight means they could share the top of the table lead. What are you expecting from them? Oh, they're going great, the Raiders. Probably flying underneath the radar a little bit, but they are well and truly inside the top eight. Had seven wins for the season and they're going really, really well. One thing they do do though, is that they lick a lot of points. Their defence isn't that great at all, so they need to fix that up. But I think um, I think they'll be the top eight by the back end of the year, but I'm going to tip it up set tonight. I'm going to go to the Tigers. All right, there you go. A chilly night here in Campbelltown. Looking forward to all the action. Brace at 7.30. Danica Gow, see you both very soon. Isabel Kelly has been cleared of serious injury but remains in hospital after she was hit in the throat in the Sky Blues 18-10 loss to the Maroons. Julia Robinson is facing a one to two match ban for raising her elbow but went unpunished on field. It's a big concern for me when we've we've got a player on the ground in actually discomfort and um, not in a great way and she was struggling to breathe so it's a very big concern. New South Wales needs to win game two by more than eight points to retain the women's origin shield.